All right, big news for N8N users. You can now create VO3 videos inside of N8N. They look something like this. And that's when I realized, All right, so that video was created, again, inside of N8N. I used the VO3 video model from Google. If you don't know what VO3 is, it's been blowing up all over X. Greg Eisenberg had a guy on recently who got 3 million views on X doing this pharmaceutical commercial using VO3. So it is probably the best video model out there right now. And importantly, we can now access VO3 through N8N. So you can create these videos at scale in your automations. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through the game plan. It's actually a pretty easy setup. We're going to be using the FAL AI video generation platform to access the VO3 API. And the results here are pretty good. So let me just open up one more. And that's when I realized. Woo! So again, there's a lot of things you can do with VO3. And let me just show you how we're going to do this in N8N. So we're going to start with a scheduled trigger. And then we are going to use just one AI agent here to come up with the prompt, right? Because VO3 needs a good prompt. And we're going to use AI to help come up with that prompt. We're going to create a record in Airtable that actually stores that prompt right in here. And then we're going to use an HTTP request node to access the FAL AI API in order to access VO3. So this is going to generate the video. We're going to wait a little bit. Then we're going to get the final video and we're just going to log it to Airtable. So it's actually pretty easy to follow along with. But if you want the template completely for free, make sure to check out the link below this video. I have all of my templates inside of my community. AI automation made easy. We have an entire classroom that includes all my YouTube videos with all of my templates. We've got over 700 members in here who are learning how to use AI automation and AI agents to help scale their business. So be sure to check out the link below the video to join for free and get access to this template. All right, so to get started, you will need a FAL AI account, okay? You're gonna need to deposit a couple of dollars. I, I did $10 and, and my balance, I guess, is negative right now because I've been running a few videos here. So so you need a FAL AI account in order to access the API. Now, let me be honest, this is not a cheap model, as we all know, it's fun to play around with. So it's saying a five second video will cost $3.75. So make sure to keep your prompts short if you're just wanting to test it out. That's a fair warning. So, but you do need your FAL AI account. All right, what you wanna do next is we're gonna run this through Airtable, okay? We're gonna set up a very simple Airtable database. Okay, so my first column is just an ID field, and this is an auto number, so every time we add a new field, we get a new record number there. My second column is just the prompt, so I've got the, the field name is prompt, and then we've got a long text. So again, we're gonna use an AI agent to auto-generate the prompt. We're gonna store that prompt in Airtable. The third column is going to be called final output. I actually need to change this to URL, not attachment. This should be a URL field. Okay. I've called this final output. And then finally, we've got status. So again, if you're going to run this on a schedule, you're going to want to ignore the ones that have a status of completed and in process the ones that have a status of to do. But this is the Airtable setup. All right, the next node that you're going to want to add is an AI agent. And the point of this agent, again, is to come up with a prompt that we need to feed into FAL AI, which will then get fed into VO3. So for this AI agent, let me just open this up and show you what I did here, okay? So for the source of prompt, I changed to define below because I wanted to add a user message. So what you need to do in this agent is you need to give it a user message and you need to give it a system message. And if you need help with that, well, A, the template will be in the community, but if you wanna do this yourself, I just had ChatGPT do it. I think ChatGPT or any AI is the best source for writing prompts. You just tell it what you're trying to do. You know, I'm trying to generate a, a 10 second video in VO3, which is a video AI generation model. I need a system message and a user message, and it gave me both. So you can see my system message is over here. My user message is over here, and that's exactly what you'll see. 
inside of N8N. This is my user message. You know, write a short, vivid scene of A. And now this part right here that I have highlighted, it's just what I decided to go with, a, a nervous comedian performing in a comedy club. You can change that out. You can use a variable and add a new field to Airtable. But just for the purposes of this video, I hard-coded this value in here. And then ChatGPT came up with make it feel raw and cinematic. And then below, we have our system message. Again, this was entirely from ChatGPT. I'm not going to read this whole thing. You can just grab the template. But we're, we're providing the AI with context on what we want it to do, what we expect, some rules, and all of these other details that you can see down here. So what this is going to output, you can see right over here when I ran this, and this is a, a different video than the one that I played before. I think this is the one that made my balance go negative. So you're going to see the output here, right? It's just text and it's, you know, the lens bumps against my fingers as I flip the camera around, right? So this is the output. This is the prompt that we're going to feed into Airtable first and then into our model. So that's the AI agent node. And now all we're going to do in Airtable is just send that up there. So I think I deleted it here, but I can run this. So if I execute this step, all I'm doing here is I've got an Airtable node to create a new record, okay? And then obviously I'm just gonna choose my Airtable database, which is VO3. Table one, I'm gonna map the columns manually. And what I wanna do here is for the values to send, so for the prompt, again, I have prompt here is the second column here. I'm gonna just drag in the output from my AI agent. So it's this field that I dragged into the prompt here as an expression. And then for the status, I'm gonna manually update this to to do. So you can see the status is updated as well. So when we go into Airtable, and let me just expand this a little bit, we can see I have my full prompt is in here. This is the prompt that came from the AI agent that we're going to feed on to the next steps. All right, next we need to generate our video with the FAL AI API. All right, and so to do that, after our Airtable step, we're going to add a new HTTP request node. Okay, and I've renamed this to generate video. So let me just walk you through the steps right here. So the method I have as post URL, and you can grab this from the FAL docs if you want, but this is the URL that we need to post our request to. For authentication, I've got a generic credential, and then I've got a header auth, and then I created a new credential for FAL. And so if you wanna create that connection, the name you just need to call authorization, and then the value is gonna be your API key that you're gonna grab from your FAL AI account. It's somewhere up in your settings over here. So once you have your connection, that you've got your authentication all set up. Now, what you need to do next is just set up the body so you wanna turn send body on. For the body content type, I use JSON. To specify body, we're gonna use the fields below. And then we need one body parameter. So the name of it should be prompt. You can see it's lowercase here. And then the value that we're gonna pass in, of course, is the prompt itself, which I dragged over here from the previous step in the Airtable step, right? So this is storing our prompt in Airtable. So I dragged this in as an expression in the value field. The only other thing I did here is under options right here, I selected batching and we wanna do one item per batch in case you have like 50 of these. So that's the only other setting. So again, this is actually pretty easy to set up once you get it going. I've pinned this because I don't wanna spend $5 every time I hit test step. But once you hit execute step, it should look something like this, where you've got the status, the request ID, the response URL, the status URL, and that's when you know that it's working. The other way that you can check if it's working is when you go into your account and you find the FAL AI VO3 model. Actually, let's just go to the home page and let's see. So I can, when you go to your dashboard here, you can see the recently used apps. So let's just click into VO3 and then yeah, you can go to requests and here you go. You can see all of the requests that have gone in. Now, if you're running into errors, which I was before, you can see I got a bunch of 422 errors. You'll know that it's not working and something's going wrong. You'll know when you have a successful video when you see the status 200. So you can see these two came in good, the two, the two that I showed you before. All right, so while that video is generating, what we wanna do next is add a wait step because the video is gonna take, I would say at least five minutes to generate. So after the first HTTP request, add a new node, add a wait node here, 
I, I just had this on five seconds when I was uh, for the purpose of the video. But what I would recommend is doing at least five minutes, maybe even seven minutes just to be safe. Because again, you need to wait for the video to finish processing before we try to go fetch the finished video. All right, now we need to go get the video, right? The, the finished video URL. So what I recommend doing is, is taking your generate video HTTP request node and then just copying it into N8N so you have a duplicate. And then when we go in, we're just gonna change a couple of things. So for the method we want get, and then for the URL, again, this is from the docs here and I'll, I'll kind of expand this to show you what we're doing. So we want phalai vo3 backslash request backslash, we want the request ID. So it's, you can see the re request ID is actually coming from the generate video and it's this field, but I'm gonna grab it from the wait node, it's the same value, but I like to just grab the previous node's value. So I'm gonna pull in this request ID as an expression at the end of this URL, and then you'll see JSON request ID. And now this is the actual ID number in my account. So let's just click back in here. Again, the auth is the same, it's the header auth, and that's it. Actually for batching, we probably don't even need that. That's just from when I duplicated the node, but we don't even need to send in a body. Now, when you execute this step, what you're gonna see is the output, right? So when, when your output looks like this, you know that it succeeded, that your video has succeeded and that your HTTP request was able to fetch that video. Now, importantly, what we want is this video URL. So if you were to copy this URL into, the, into your browser, it would download an MP4 file. Actually, we can test this out here. So let me just copy that. Let me paste it in, and there it is, right? And that's when I realized, woo! <laughs> All right, so there's my, my VO3 video. Again, that's the URL field in the output from this HTTP node. All right, now all we need to do is get that URL and status into Airtable. So I have a update record field here for Airtable. So let me just click this open and show you what I'm doing here. So again, obviously it's the same Airtable database. And what we're gonna do here is just map a couple of fields. So the columns to match on, we're gonna use ID. And then for the values to update, and again, these are expressions, for the ID to match, we're gonna go back to that Airtable node earlier and drag this ID into this expression field over here. And then for final output, what we want is the URL field from above. And if you're having an issue, and I was, you can change your final output field from URL to just a text string or, or a single text field, a single line text field, that, that helped me out. I was having issue when, when this field was a URL. So if you are having issue, you can change final output just to a, a text field. And you're gonna drag the URL field from get video to the expression field final output. And then for status, what we're gonna do, we're gonna hard code in the word done. So when we execute this, which I just did, you can see we've got our ID and we've got the full table here with the ID and the prompt, the final output and the status. And again, when I come into Airtable, I can see now I've got my record ID over here. I've got the corresponding prompt. I've got the actual media file right here. And then I've got the status as done. So it really is as easy as that. You know, you, we can do a lot more things and maybe make this a little more advanced, but I did want to get this video out once Fal AI announced that they had VO3 in there. So if you want to experiment with VO3 videos, inside of N8N, definitely check this out. And again, if you want access to this template completely for free, I will have it in my community, AI Automation Made Easy. Just click the link below. And if you enjoyed this content, do me a favor, like the channel, leave me a comment, subscribe. It really helps out the channel. All right, guys, see you in the next video.